Hi everyone, welcome on board to Hopper.tv where you get the reliable news that is tailored for you and of course where you can actually comment and interact. This might come as a shock to some people um, while some people already know this and some people might be in between two sides of this. They are not sure of this information. Buari asked the president of Chad to stop killing Boko Haram terrorists. That is the shock there. Now, this is from Imam of Peace. Imam of Peace is an Arab that lives in Australia. And he has always come after Buhari. He called Buhari one of the most stupid um, person on earth, the most stupid person that, in fact, Buhari has made sure that Nigeria is not recognized anywhere because of his style of government. The Imam of Peace reveals that President Muhammad Buhari has asked the Federal Republic of Chad to stop killing Boko Haram terrorists. There are several, you know, tweets, words, sentences that has been attributed to Major General Muhammad Buhari, retired the president of Nigeria. And many of these tweets are troubling and very dangerous during the um the time of good luck billy jonathan it is said that worry repeated several sentences that i see as terrorism supporting terrorism it is said that worry said that if you fight bukwara you are fighting the North. Simply put, a fight against the North is the fight is a fight against Boko Haram. And what does Boko Haram stand for? Boko Haram simply means no to Western education. That's not a problem. Anyone that doesn't want to embrace some cultural practices, cultural practices, or educational system of one nation, one race, or the other, it's the person's personal choice. As long as you are um, respecting the rule of law and the constitution that we have in Nigeria. And I believe that part of the constitution is that every child must be given education. If that is enforced in the northern part of Nigeria or anywhere in Nigeria, I wouldn't know. There are countries where you cannot keep your kids at home. They must go to school. Now, the north has the highest number of children out of school. The Amajuri system, which is created as a result of their very backward cultural practices and beliefs and also their very terrible religious views and doctrines and practices and of course the monarchical structure uh, where you have the sultans you have the emir and the rest of that these are what gave birth to the amajuri system and every of this is hidden under the cloak of religion islam you find these kids all over the streets. Out of those children grew up one that is terrorizing the world today. He is a leader of Boko Haram. As we know today, they said the initial leader has been killed by the Nigerian army. This man that is causing mayhem all over the northern part of Nigeria and possibly sending in some Fulani earthmen going all over the nation, killing, destroying, is called Shikau. For the first time, Shikau came out on a video, and if you could hear, listen to the tone of his voice, you would know that something really shook Boko Haram. The Chadian soldiers, they shook the core, the, the power house of Boko Haram. This is what the Nigerian military could not do. Why? Is it because the Nigerian military do not have the experience or the technical know-how? No, that is not the case. The problem is that there are certain groups of people that are called the cabals. There are certain groups of people in the northern part of Nigeria in conjunction with certain group of southerners that are in the military. This is a huge business. It's an enterprise. It's a way of making money. So, therefore, Boko Haram will not end because once insurgency terrorism ends, there is no, there is not going to be any amount of money that will be given to the, to, to the military 
and some of those criminals that are running the show some of them are retired and of course the islamic clerics and all of them they're all working hand in hand bukwara iswap terrorists in the north has become a wild animal that they themselves cannot tame so what they do is to take advantage of that animal that you have created by tapping here and there and getting money off from probably money that the federal government will come up with if they say okay let us pay ransom let us do this and that this is how they're able to get money just imagine question that we need to ask ourselves is this we know that terrorism is global question that i want everybody living in that contraption called nigeria or any supporter of this regime or any supporter of the of the system of governance of buhari yes buhari did not create boko haram but it's part of the structure Boko Haram existed even during Good Luck Jonathan. Now, what I want to ask you is this. Are you saying that the number of military that we have in Nigeria are less qualified, trained, and cubed than Boko Haram? Are you saying that the number of the Boko Haram terrorists are much more than the military? We are talking about Air Force and Navy. Aside the paramilitary, are you saying that is the case are you saying a nigerian backed military is less efficient than a boko haram that has to steal weapons from some barracks if they can uh, you know you know find a way to break into or get some foreign support are you saying that is the case it's a shame when you look at this you realize that there are people working underneath to make sure that the terrorist activities in the north remains that is why they call this regime Aousa Fulani terrorist government because it is said according to FFK and a lot of people they've said this over time. Buhari said a fight against Boko Haram is a fight against the North. If you target them, you are fighting the North. And you know what that means? Simply put, if you are going to do this, then we are going to raise hell. We are going to call on the, the, the criminal generals that we have and the rest of the terrorists we are all going to find a way to destroy. That's why a lot of people are asking. This is not by force. Let us break apart. We were brothers and sisters initially. Not until the, the, the British monarchy found a way of joining both people with different religious views, people with different cultural views, people with different value system and idea, ideas. They joined them together. People would have thought that they would have come together to grow. But no. Some group of people prefer to be down there and drag every other person down. And I'll tell you the truth, for this to work, there is a kind of collaboration, not much, but it is visible collaboration from some Southerners. And these Southerners, some of them are the silent uh, partner. They are the politicians that you have. And the major players are the ones that are in the military. There are rumors that we heard over time. In fact, there was a time it was reported that the military were moving to crush Boko Haram finally. They were getting to Shikau's hideout. Probably made a call. Who knows? They said they received the call. And they were asked to do what? Withdraw. And you know how the military works. Obey the last order. If your general gives an order and says withdraw, you withdraw. If you move forward, then you know what they call that? They call it mutiny. And then you'll be caught marshaled because you did not obey. And those ones report and say, we are getting close there. Let us hit this. We say, no, come back. Do not finish them. Hit them a little bit and come back. And a lot of Nigerians that are in the military, they are dying. They are dying. They are dying. And what we wonder, many of them have complained of equipments that are not really efficient. All the equipment, efficient, uh, you know, military gadgets of 1970s being used now. When Boko Haram is already making sure that they get contact outside and they get weapons. What are we talking about? Many of them have deserted the army. Many of them have said they will be killed because they deserted the army. Some of them have leaked videos. Many things that we've seen over time. In fact, recently a video was shown on Sahara TV where one military man from the south, probably a Yoruba man, was talking about how they gave them wrong intel. Wrong intelligence. What are we talking about? So as to make sure that they do not achieve or arrive there. And they lost a lot of people. Many of the soldiers were shaking. Why? Not because they are afraid. But because they realize that the, there is a power behind the scene working to make sure that they do not succeed. But when these criminals 
that have killed a lot of people, maimed a lot of people, you know, crushed a lot of people. When they come out, the federal government is trying to look for money out of our tax, out of our resources to give to them. So what are they saying? It is better to be a terrorist and you say you are now a born-again repentant terrorist and the federal government will send you abroad and give you a lot of money for life. They are not going after their Marjorie children that they've created where Boko Haram gets these young minds to brainwash. Now, Chadian president decided to do what Nigeria is not ready to do because it's becoming a menace to them since we share border. Chad government have said that they will stop the regional fight and the killing of Boko Haram terrorists, stating that they will no longer engage in any fight outside the country's border. At the outbreak of this news, Imam of Peace took to his verified Twitter page to reveal that the Chad troops stopping the war against Boko Haram terrorists because of the intervention of the Nigerian president, Major General Muhammadu Buhari retired, the president of Nigeria, popularly known as Jubril al-Sudani. If you don't believe this, I just want you guys to check this news that you're looking at there. This is Al Jazeera, and it is state, it states there: Chadian troops kill 1,000 Boko Haram fighters in Lake Chad. Chad Army says it lost 52 troops during the operation against um, Boko Haram. And um, when you see all of this, you realize that the truth is there. Chad to stop participating in regional fight against armed groups. President Idris Deby says Chadian troops will no longer take part in military operations outside the country's border. Why do you think they, do, they, they, they are not uh, moving forward to do this? It is because they've received the call. Mind your business, stay in your border, we will handle the rest. What they've been handling all this while and they've never succeeded. It's a, it's a very sad one. Chad lost 52 soldiers, killed 1,000. Nigeria will probably lose 200 soldiers and kill 50. And they will return with probably like five AK 47s and two bikes, which the 50 court will be put in one year rehabilitation and be awarded scholarship to travel abroad. We are in a mess. If you don't believe it, well, probably you are sleeping. Wake up. That is what it is for now. I say a very big thank you to those who have taken time to subscribe to this channel. And if you're yet to subscribe, kindly tap on that subscription button and also the red bell icon so you will be notified whenever videos such as this are uploaded.